Good morning. Welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Today is the memorial of St. John of Avila, priest and doctor of the church. Our celebrant this morning is Father Rees, and the intentions of the Mass are for the repose of the soul of Marion Delaney. Our celebrant is His Eminence Cardinal Dolan. You may go to stpatrickscathedral.org slash live for today's worship program. Please rise now, brothers and sisters, and join in singing our opening hymn, which is number 474 in the St. Michael hymnal, the first verse of Christ the Lord is risen today. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. You're sure welcome here at St. Patrick's Cathedral, America's Parish Church, for morning Mass, and that welcome includes those who unite with us at home on our live stream in the Catholic Faith Network and the Catholic Channel, Sirius XM 129. It's the Feast of St. Damien the Leper, a beautiful feast for us and that we might offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass the more worthily we call to mind our sins and ask for the mercy of Jesus. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. pray. Father of mercy, who gave us in St. Damien a shining witness of love for the poorest and most abandoned, grant that by his intercession, as faithful witnesses of the heart of your Son, Jesus, we too may be servants of the most needy and rejected through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit, and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church, 
and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. All you nations praise the Lord. All, All you, you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All, All you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among them, among those who know the Lord. Of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All, all you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. They shall note, when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you all nations, you nations praise, praise the Lord. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe <clears throat> because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you remember last uh, Sunday, two days ago, was Good Shepherd Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Easter always is. And Jesus told us he's the Good Shepherd. He tells us a Good Shepherd will lay down his life to protect his sheep. He continues that theme in the beautiful gospel today. Now, we've got the feast day of a very good shepherd, uh, St. Damien the leper. You know the story. He went to Molokai, the island, one of the Hawaiian islands, where the lepers, we call it today Hansen's disease, were exiled because nobody would go near them. And Father Damien went there, and he was with them for 16 years. He was a good shepherd. He was so close to the sheep that he became infected with leprosy and died of it. Pope Francis tells us priests that we should be shepherds who smell like the sheep. 
That's how close we should be in his catchy phrase. I have to confess, sometimes I prefer lamb chops and mint jelly to smelling like the sheep. But thanks be to God, we've got great saints like Damien the leper who smell like the sheep. We're so close to them that he, like Jesus, laid down his life for his sheep. Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, look upon the sacrifices we offer on this feast of St. Damien the leper and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of our Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but during this Easter season above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. 
bring her to the fullness of charity, to the with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Good Shepherd has taught us, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of God Our communion hymn, dear brothers and sisters, is number 528, 528 in the St. Michael hymnal, The Gift of Finest Wheat.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacred mystery, O Lord, confirm us, your servants, in the one true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which St. Damien the leper never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, the health of the sick, and St. Damien the leper, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Together we sing our recessional hymn, brothers and sisters, number 787. The strife is o'er the first verse. Thank you. 